Welcome to Rich Conversations. In today's recording, I want to continue exploring our curiosity through Wikipedia. So the wiki page that I chose today to explore is the list of Spotify streaming records. Now, I chose this because I think it'll be interesting, and I'm curious what insights we'll draw from it. Now, this is music streaming, and Spotify is the largest, but they're at like 32% of the market. You also have Amazon Music, Apple Music, YouTube Music. So people listen to music in different ways, but I feel like Spotify is a good barometer of culture and the songs and the relevance of music artists and stars. And so we're going we're gonna to look at some graphs and some numbers and just see what we kind of draw upon. Now, currently, it says, so I'm sharing this Wikipedia page. Currently, there are more than 660 songs that have surpassed surpassed 1 billion streams on Spotify. 88 have surpassed 2 billion. 11 have surpassed 3 billion. There's only one song that has surpassed 4 billion streams. Can you guess what it is? Blinding Lights by The Weeknd is the only song that has surpassed the 4 billion mark. That is interesting. That is interesting to me. And it looks like... Um, the oldest song... The oldest song to... reach the top 100 is Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. It's interesting. So you can get songs that come back from the past. All right. Most stream songs. Blinding Lights of the Weekend, Shape of You, Ed Sh Sheeran, Someone You Loved, Louis Capaldi. I don't know who that is. So this is a good barometer of my pop culture. Sunflower, Post Malone, um, As It Was, Harry Styles, Starboy, The Weeknd, One Dance, Drake, Stay, Kid Lar Lario, Justin Bieber, Dance Monkey, Believer, Heat Waves, Okay, the list goes on and on, right? Journey's on here. 1981. Don't Stop Me Now. Queen, 1979. So this is interesting. It's like an interesting format for me to look at because before the internet and streaming, you had like billboard and radio stations that would be the barometer of what's the top song in the country or world. Um, here you have the rankings of 32% of the music streaming market. Spotify is the one that I use. I think Spotify is a great company or product. I use it daily, many times daily. Okay. Artists with the highest number of most streams. So this is they put out a song that becomes the highest streamed of all. So there are four artists that have five songs that have become the top. The Weeknd, Post Malone, Bruno Mars, Dua Lipa. Here's four songs that become top. Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber, the only ones. And then three songs that have reached the top. Imagine Dragons, Drake, Shawn Mendes, Eminem, Coldplay. Okay, so this is weekly number one songs. And it goes all the way from 2016. That's where these numbers, that's the, that's the earliest that these numbers start. Which is kind of interesting because I feel like I remember Spotify being around in like 2012, 2013, 14. 
So they, they must have not gotten the data for that. Like they didn't collect that data at the time, I would imagine. So let's look at uh, what stands out is weeks to me with this. Number one songs on Spotify. Shape of You, Ed Sheeran, 14 weeks. Some of these other ones around are like two weeks, one week, four weeks. So let's look at the biggest ones. So Shape of You, Ed Sheeran. This is 2017. Despacito, remix, uh, 2017, 14 weeks. I remember I was, at this time, I was traveling in Spain and that those songs were being played everywhere. The original Despacito though. Uh, Rockstar Post Malone, 17 weeks. God's Plan had 10 weeks and then another one. Seven Rings, Ariana Grande, 10 weeks. Dance Monkey, Tones and I, 14 weeks. Driver's License, Olivia Rodrigo, 10 weeks. Stay, 11 weeks. Heat Waves by Glass Animals, 10 weeks. Harry Styles, as it was, that song looks like it has a combined of 11. 11 weeks, but it was number one at three different times. Um, those are the ones that are all surpassed 10 weeks, surpassed single digits. That's kind of interesting. Now let's look at the top five most streamed songs since 2016. Oh, we have this number. Okay, going back to 2012, like I was saying. Okay. Most stream... Oh, this is fun. Okay, most stream song, 2012. Somebody That I Used to Know by Gautier. 2013, Can't Hold Us, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. 2014, Happy, Pharrell Williams. 2015, Lean On by Major Lazer. 2016, One Dance, Drake. 2017, Shape of You, Ed Sheeran. 2018, God's Plan, Drake. 2019, Senorita, Sean Mendez and Camilla Caballo. 2020, Blinding Lights, The Weeknd. 2021, Driver's License, Olivia Rodrigo. 2022, As It Was and by Harry Styles. And 2023, Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Yeah, it's interesting having all these names together in a way. It's a real like snapshot window of culture. Um, you see who, who really had their peaks at certain years. Um, You can see the rise, like Flowrida in 2012 was doing stuff. and It's interesting how pop culture just kind of moves, moves on to the next thing really quickly. So for this one is annual top five most streamed. So this one right here is annual top five most streamed albums. 2023, Bad Bunny. 2022, Bad Bunny. Olivia Rodrigo, 2021. 2022, guess who it was? Bad Bunny. Billie Eilish, Drake, Ed Sheeran, Drake. The Weeknd, Ed Sheeran. Macklemore. David Guetta. Yeah, it's interesting. So you get like doubles. Ed Sheeran twice, Drake twice. Taylor Swift holds the top three rankings for most streamed albums in a single day. 
yeah, so that's kind of a, just a brief overview of this page. I just think it's interesting. I think for me, what stands out is just how, how big someone can be, but then our eyes kind of turn to someone else who becomes the biggest thing. And it kind of goes in waves a bit. And uh, the waves don't last long. It's kind of like an ocean in nature. So yeah, that was fun, that was quick. So now we just uh, caught up to speed on some music pop culture. Thanks for listening and watching.